by the side of the road. There were no grasslands or flowers. All of this was kind of dark. Maroon Lake here. These guys to the north here. And we are on our way. So we are doing a four day, three night trip. The four pass loop here around the Maroon Bells near Aspen, Colorado. Signing in at the register. The three of us. Me, Jacob, and his girlfriend Liz. Starting this hike about 9,500 feet of gain, I guess. I thought it was about 8,000. It's about 28 miles. So today we should do about six. And we're gonna camp just shy of West Maroon Pass. Who's who's the leader? I'm the group leader. This guy. <laughs> Bold choices are being made early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm the captain. So Crater Lake is just ahead here, and that is looking towards West Maroon Pass. This is the Maroon Bells. That's Maroon Peak and North Maroon Peak. Crater Lake on a Sunday is just past noon. It's the second lake. We started at Maroon Lake. We are now starting the clockwise loop, ending with our camp just short of West Maroon Pass tonight. Looking back at Crater Lake. We are hoping and expecting that there will be a couple sites up here. Another group told us that they're pretty limited. A little spot right off the trail. There are a couple other sites that are taken nearby, but the views are great. All right, we're gonna start it with some sweet and spicy jalapeno and pepadu cheese with a salami Toscana. All right, we got our little happy hour crackers. So you got that MSR stove and it came with that little pot too? Yeah, all yeah. of this. And yep. probably, honestly, even this thing will fit inside of it. Yeah. Got whiskey again. This time it is Mars whiskey. It is Japanese. Mm. Yeah, it's good. It's got. Mm. All right, we are getting some water going for the bean dip. This Moscow mule's pretty good. So, Jake, that beer, you said that. You, did, you were unsure at first? It's got lots of like different spices in it. It's, it doesn't really taste like a, most beers that I've had before. So I wasn't sure at first, but now that I'm like halfway through it, all that kind of really strong spice flavor is kind of, I guess I've kind of got used to it. What do we got there? 
you got fettuccine alfredo, but this one's good. This one's really good, the fettuccine alfredo. Nice. We There's got a, a few kind bit of too. crunchy noodles in here. Not completely hydrated. But I yeah, don't, I don't like it. I, <laughs> oh, I don't think I stirred it good enough. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to introduce who is coming along on this trip. I'm along for the ride. Louder? Well, I'm Jake. Louder this time. I'm louder, Jake, from, from the second <laughs> go. And I'm along for this trip because I love this area. I think it's really beautiful and, uh, you know. I know you like that fettuccine Alfredo. Um, it's decent. It's decent, yeah. What is your, uh, what is your favorite part of the hike today? Probably setting up camp. <laughs> but it's amazing that being out in the middle of the wilderness can make you respect a thing like instant cooked noodles. Hi, I'm Liz. How are you liking this hike? So far, I like it a lot actually because I've packed lighter, so it wasn't as heavy. So I feel good right now. I'm ready for tomorrow. Um, it's a little chilly right now, but cozy it up. I wanted to show where we went today. We started by taking the shuttle up to Maroon Lake here, where we got our packs <laughs> on, and there were a ton of people there. And we started up the trail, kind of through the Aspen Forest, up along this ridge, and made it to Crater Lake. Um, crossed the creek once here, and then again, I think about here. Right now, I think that we're probably somewhere right by this trail right Tomorrow here. Tomorrow we'll be climbing West Maroon Pass, drop down into this little basin, up Fr uh, Frigid Air Pass, and then into Fravert Basin, where we will camp somewhere in here. It is about 6.45 on day one here, on our four-pass loop near Aspen, Colorado. We hiked in about five or six miles, and uh, got a nice little camp spot. It's uh, right by the trail, but the color in this, in this basin right now is amazing. The red rocks and this whole side here is all lit up, and very, very cool place. Pretty much going to do it for today. It is the morning of the second day of our trip. Camp next to West Maroon Creek and we will be heading up West Maroon Pass, about a thousand feet. I think we're just at about 11.5 and the pass will be at about 12.5. So when we got here, it was pretty slim pickings for camp spots. There's about three sites up in this direction. There's another one right here next to the trail, straight ahead of me here. And then we are down the path here straight ahead and in those trees if you're planning to do this hike I would recommend getting here relatively early or being creative with camp spots I had an idea that there would be some spots out along here um, that's kind of across the uh, creek I'm sure there's a crossing downstream Pretty awesome night. Um, it got a little chilly in the early morning. Got two passes to do today, and we'll be camping in Fravert Basin at some point. We're thinking about eight or nine miles. We're just about ready to go. Day two, up West Maroon Pass, and then down a little and back up uh, Frigid Air Pass. Jake, how was your night sleeping, and, and how has the morning been at this camp I slept spot? Great. I slept all through the night. I woke up at about six when the birds and stuff started chirping and then I, you know, I trial broke but hey you know get over it and 
you move on. Mike's got one, so it was it was nice. It was a nice morning. Had some some oatmeal, had some yeah. protein shakes, some good to go. Got enough water. All packed up. Just gotta head out. All right. Come on. Let's go. So that's looking down the trail the way we came. This was our campsite right straight ahead there, and actually another couple had a campsite right there next to that fire pit. So we were really close quarters, um, and then a gentleman up here was hammock camping, and just beyond up in the trees I mentioned earlier, there was about three or four. Taking a look at these mountains. And we are off. You can see the route up to Westmer and Pass there. The trail goes up to the left, to the center right there. There's some people. A couple hundred more vertical feet, it looks like. This is the last push up to Westmer and Pass. Making our way down the other side of West Maroon Pass. Frigidaire Pass is going to be up here somewhere. We have reached the fork for the West Maroon Creek Trail, and we're heading up this way to Frigidaire Pass. Got some wild wildflowers. This Indian paintbrush. Making our way towards Frigidaire Pass. A little steep part here. Working our way up Frigidaire Pass. How are we liking so far the day? Going up West Maroon and now well, Frigid Air. West Maroon, getting up that, that was a that was that was quite the hassle, but it's oh. really worth it once you got up to the top, of course. And we had this nice little flat section here for a little while. Yeah, you can see the trail run through it. And that was really nice. That was you get that view out in the back there. And that was really fun. Lots of really pretty mountain flowers. But now this path again.
Frigid Air Pass, about to head down the other way. Got maroon bells up here. See the trail right here ahead of us, and then way down there. And that's looking at where we came up to the left. I think that's Snowmass Mountain out straight. We'll be heading down this drainage, but a couple clouds coming in. The colors are fantastic here blue, red, green. some of the switchbacks coming down Frigid Air Pass. Pretty steep. You can see someone up top to the right there, just coming on the ridge. One last look at Frigid Air Pass and the descent. You can see those switchbacks there. Looks like we're about to enter some trees here. Maybe cut down and eventually get to the creek. I know that we do cross the creek two or three times through this basin. And then tomorrow we're gonna go up uh, past the cutoff of Geneva Lake, up towards Snowmass Lake eventually. And prior to that though, we have to go over Trail Rider Pass, which is gonna be one of the steeper passes. There might be weather coming in tomorrow night, so we wanna get as far as we can uh, today. We were told there were two good campsites and I think we passed them both, but we're trying to maybe get down to this waterfall and there's campsites below that. see into that valley down there. I'm gonna go check out those meadows and see if we can find a spot. This view right here is unbelievable. Let's check it out. All right, so I think the waterfall's right here below us and and check out this pond. What do we like think about that? Something I've seen. In what? Oh, it's so clear. We think we found a spot. There's the trail leading to the trees and um, came up this little hill and here we are. I wanted to do like a little like, out of frame, kind of into the frame kind of thing. Did I, did I do it? You did it, but what are you going to do? Are you going to say something or are you going to do something? I don't know. Am I? Am I? Setting up my tent in the sun right now. So we've set up camp here in the Fravert Basin. The beers in the creek, chill them out, um, get some food going. And once you get out of this cover here, there's just views all over. Um, we have huge cliffs all around us. And there were two camp spots we decided on uh, possibly looking at, and they ended up not being too nice. And then we came down here, and what do you think of that view? Uh, it seems like every time you go, you come over a mountain, you go, wow, that's really beautiful. That's got to be like probably the most beautiful thing we're going to see on this trip. You come around another corner and you're just blown away by the next thing you see. And that one was the last uh, mind blower. Basin just below the waterfall. This is where we decided to fill up on water and 
chill our beers. And we are camped about straight ahead right there. There's another couple of guys right there and another group straight ahead right here. You ever looked at a waterfall like that and wondered what it would be like? Just the sickest wet and wild slide of all time. <laughs> Ladies! Yeah. You got that? I didn't think about that, you know? Was a bear thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Roll and boil for nine minutes. Whee! It is eight o'clock and the sun is setting over the mountains here. Oh. <clears throat> All right, this is going to be it for the second day of the uh, trip. Fantastic day. We'll hopefully see you in the morning. What are your thoughts on this? Well, it was, you know, it was rough at the beginning. We went right over two passes. And made it here. This is a great stuff. We're going to go play some, you know, some sleep, and just eat dinner. See you in the morning. Woo! It is the morning of our third day. We are in Fravert Basin. Got the moon hanging above us here. That's looking down the way we're gonna be heading. And our camp was up here in this little grove of trees. Third day out here in the uh, maroon snowmass wilderness. Today we're gonna be headed to Snowmass Lake after heading up over Trail Rider Pass. There's a possibility of some storms coming in, so we want to make sure that we get up and over the high stuff before that. Hike should be about another seven miles or so. There is a significant elevation gain, but then we do drop right into uh, Snowmass Lake. Morning coffee here. Organic instant coffee from Sprouts. Does the trick. Just can't get enough of these mornings out here. All right, Jake, third day, ready to go. How are we feeling about it? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm good. I, I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel a little tired from the last couple of days, but I'm ready. We got two more passes to go. One today, one tomorrow. Today is supposed to be the tough one though, right? Trail rider. Yeah. This place was yeah. even better than the last place that we camped. So we know you had to go through those two passes, but it was to get to here. It's a great camp. Probably, being honest, probably the best camp spot I've ever I've ever been to. Got a great view of this mountain over here. I don't know if you can really see that. I don't know if you can hear the waterfall over here, but we got a great waterfall going. Nice, beautiful trees. Nice sun in the morning. Here is looking at the map. I'm going to show you what we did yesterday. We started uh, somewhere in this area, climbed West Maroon Pass. It was about 1,200 feet of gain or so. We descended. Oh, no, I'd say we descended probably about six or seven hundred feet into this basin. Off the cut off trail here and continued up to Frigid Air Pass. Really cool views. Um, it was really steep right here. And then from there we could just see the maroon peaks here. This whole ridge was just unbelievable. Um, from there we went down Frigid Air Pass through this basin. Really ton of wildflowers, really beautiful here. And dropped back down into the trees. Once we got to this point we found a couple campsites with wooden posts that, that showed there were sites off to the sides. We decided to push on past this waterfall. There's a group of about five or six campsites all within this kind of knoll. So today we're starting right about here. We're gonna head down the drainage and we'll see a, a uh, junction with the North Fork. We're gonna continue up the we're cutoff up, up into this little basin area. There's a small pond lake we'll go through and up Trail Rider Pass. This is a real steep pass I know. We have done two others so far on the trip, but 
it will be a good push. And then from there, we will be looking down on the Snowmass Lake. Uh, Snowmass Peak is here and Snowmass Mountain over here. And it's a really cool descent. You can see the lake the whole way. Tomorrow, the final day, we'll come up through this basin, up Buckskin Pass here, the final pass. And we'll drop down to Crater Lake, Maroon, and then head out. So what do you call that approach to getting your backpack on? Uh, turtle. Turtle. All right, we're just about ready to head out. Taking another look at the area this morning, waterfall where we came down that ridge yesterday. This big old peak. And our campsite from last night. Got some patchy clouds coming in. We might be getting full clouds by tonight. Birds chirping, flowers blooming. Bugs a buzzing. Some dead wood here. This thing next to us looks like it's about to fall. And this one's living, but it's definitely angled right over the trail. One last look up the drainage where we camped. Just had a stream crossing. It is definitely wildflower season. Trail riders to the right, and that's where we're going. Looks like we've reached some of the steep stuff. Must record the misery. <laughs> Someone decided to describe this climb as a death march. It's not far off from the truth, if we're being honest. It's looking down towards Geneva Lake. We're heading up. Yeah, they might be. That is a giant mountain of trees. Camper is coming seven days. So Jake, on a scale of one to 10, how is that view over your shoulder? You know a guy who throws out 10s. Really Definitely not a guy who says an 11 on the scale. So that's a 10. Ten and a half at the, at the, at the So waterfall was the 10 so far, but... Yeah, that one's like a 9. That yeah. was pretty good, but the waterfall one was a 10. Yeah. We sure. camped down at the base of that Red Rock Mountain, came through this drainage, and we've been coming up these switchbacks. It's been very steep. We have some clouds coming in. It's supposed to be rainy tonight, we guess, but we just need to get over Trail Rider Pass. So now we're turning east, heading up, and I think the pass is up there near those mountains. Talking about dead tree fall. This thing's a beast. Right there is to Geneva Lake. We are at our trail junction. We're heading up. There's supposed to be a small little pond, and then we'll see Trail Rider Pass. Jake is hollering about something. See what we got. This trail rider pass. You can see a little bit of the switchback leaning up there. Making it past the lake on the way to trail rider pass. Do have a couple unfavorable clouds right here. Just mobbing up this like it doesn't matter. He's on prowl. Butterflies, look out! There's the top up there where those gentlemen are getting to. It's the last stretch up. Trail 
Powder Pass. Wow. home snowmass lake for the night hopefully find a nice spot on the lake here that pass? It didn't seem like, as bad as the other ones yeah we sit for a second? I think Maybe we're just, we just champions at, yeah we just got better at pushing ourselves up there's a Jake here I am, on the trail again. Who's to say that the wristwatch was better than the pocket watch anyways? I mean, it is very convenient. I don't have to put it in and out of a pocket, but you know what? There's Trail Rider Pass. We've made it down this basin a ways. There is Snowmass Mountain and Snowmass Peak and the scree field leading down find a good beer I feel like I'm not gonna it's gonna be a long time till I come back around to it because I'm just so curious to try the other beers got to try them all man you should get the uh, untapped app untapped you app. take a picture of your beer and you untap it and you check like it check in that you've drank snow in the shoe. Oh, right. So these are some really cool white columbines. And would you would you think about them, you said? They were what? They were real cute. They were so cute. So they were like cute. so cute. They were like this. For sure. We have made it to some sort of trail junction. We're gonna see what this is all about. Snowmass Lake. Come to you, you go to the fish. Yep. <laughs> Until your raft breaks down halfway through and you gotta swim back in all that cold ass water. We started on the south side of the lake where the trail is, and there are some campsites around there. We crossed over the creek. Ooh. Is this the spot? Some close for restoration. And I like this one. We'll see how we like it. What do we think? Yeah, what do you think? Yeah. So we've found camp for our third night. We are here at Snowmass Lake. We are at Snowmass Lake. Got a campsite on the eastern shore. And these guys made a raft out of logs. And one of them it's swimming back to shore. I thought about jumping in, but pretty crazy. Makeshift wood raft they paddled out, and I thought they were fishing. And their buddy decided to try his turn at swimming. Direct center, that pass is where we came down when we first got view of the lake here. This rock is my friend. It's a nice sitting rock. Huh? We got a nice sitting log too. We got oh. a nice sitting tree. And a good view. Nice sitting bear canister. Yeah, this is nice sitting everything. I've been talking about some some rice noodles for lunch this whole trip, and here we go. Boom! Toss that guy in there. Bada bing. Heat it up a little. Got to add your oil and seasoning here. Get it going. And bada boom up because it's getting windy. Those noodles look like they're about done. We have 
put away our kitchen and common area stuff. We got some clouds and some wind coming in. Probably some rain. Some pretty dark clouds. It's getting stormy. We might have to hang out in the tent for a little bit. We got some clouds down here and really the main of the weather is coming from this direction. It has been a couple hours since I shot last. So it's been good, we had some food, the clouds came in, we felt two or three raindrops max and it uh, stopped. So it's just been windy and a little bit chilly and the sun has been fighting the clouds to come out so it hasn't really even been sunny until right now. Snowmass Lake with the light on it. Sun's about to go down over this ridge. So Jacob, how do you feel about your Sawyer squeeze filter? It's pretty good. It's not it's not as fast as the uh, dairy pen. It does get out any kind of weird floaters or sediments in the in the water, so giant mosquito swarm above our camp. So I'll give you a look at the watering spot here. And this is our camp. I have my tent set up here. And this is the communal area kitchen. Jacob and Liz's tent. There's also straight ahead of way down to the kind of lake shore. People fish and get water. That's looking at Hagerman Peak straight ahead. That's Snowmass Peak straight ahead. Um, Hagerman is hidden. And actually, Snowmass Mountain, the 14er, right there. That little nub right there in the middle. It's green. The mosquitoes are insane right now. Yay! There's a fox right past this log. I can't see it with my camera, but maybe it'll lighten up. And there he goes. There is something swimming out there in the lake. Looks like two things. Um, again, it's really dark. That's gonna be it pretty much for the night. This is the morning of our fourth day. Snowmass Lake. Fourth of July, 2018. The water right now is unbelievably still. Got a peach passion jumpstart smoothie from Packet Gourmet. All you do is add five ounces of water to it. Here is a look on the map of what we did yesterday. We started the morning right here, south of the waterfall. We headed down the drainage for a couple miles, mile and a half or so, and then instantly headed up. Um, this shows it being a straight line. There are a ton of little switchbacks through here. Very uh, steep there into this basin area where we could then see trail rider Tree paths. line disappears about right here and there were some clouds coming in we were kind of concerned about, but we made it up in time. Then we had all the awesome views of Snowmass Lake, looking back over the way we came. We descended down pretty quick, pretty steep down to Snowmass Lake and got to camp here and then we kind of walked over, we're about here. So for today, it's our last day. Um, I think it's about six or seven miles. Gain here elevation up into this meadowy basin start gaining uh, quickly here up to Buckskin Pass, the last of the four passes we will be climbing. Uh, following that, a very steep descent down and through to Crater Lake, where we stopped for a break our first day, and back to Maroon Creek, and we'll take the shuttle. Okay. All right, this is our fourth day out here, and we are 
heading up from Snowmass Lake. Had a really cool campsite right near the lake, and we are getting hit with mosquitoes again. Yep. So, yeah, lots of <laughs> We're getting one, eaten. <laughs> one more pass. So, what do we think about this campsite, real quick? It's beautiful. Absolutely. It was awesome. Beautiful. It may have been just as good <laughs> as the last one. <laughs> I don't know. The lake was a color I had never seen before. It was, it's nice. And right now it's like kind of a greenish color. But happy 4th, yeah. Yeah, happy 4th of July. Snowmass Lake area. And here's the drainage out of Snowmass Lake that creates the creek. making our way towards Buckskin Pass. Uh, since Snowmass Lake, we've been almost going downhill. And I know we're gonna have to regain all of this. We have now started the steeper part. Pretty nice morning though. We have spotty clouds giving us some protection from the sun as we climb up here. You know what I don't really like? Hamburger pizza. Pretty excellent camping spot right there. With a great view. <laughs> Making our way up Buckskin Pass. That is Snowmass Peak, Snowmass Mountain. Got a marmot friend right here. Trail looking up to Buckskin Pass. And that's looking down the way we came. We are at the top of Buckskin Pass. There's Snowmass Lake, Snowmass Peak, Snowmass Mountain, and Hagerman Peak. Gonna be heading down steep switchbacks. Where we are going. You can see some people way down there off to the right of the trail. Before we get a sunburn, we must get down quickly. But how excited are we to be up here in this view though, real quick? What's with that two out of a ten scale thing you were doing the other oh, day? Out of a ten? I don't know, this view yeah. is even I don't know. Yeah, it's like I gotta keep redefining my uh, my definition of ten. <laughs> The whole thing, the whole thing is just phenomenal. Four days out here has been unbelievable. Been wanting to come back to these mountains and alpine conditions and lots of water instead of.
very glad that we did not come up this because full packs in this climb would be extremely difficult. We have made it back yes. to the turnoff and instantly have a lot more people on the trail. Had some people who climbed Maroon Peak, or excuse me, North Maroon Peak, said it was one of the most dangerous things they've done as far as mountain climbing. Goats were knocking down rocks, but we're taking this trail and should be at Maroon Lake within another mile plus, and then take a shuttle back down. Well, hello. Well, we're done. We're done, we made it back. That's Alive in one piece. That's the mountains we went around and we're back at the lake and had a great time. We're exhausted, we're what ready. Do we, what do we think about it? Forever changed, but also sad to not be where we were a few hours ago. Yeah. It's awesome company with coming with these guys and oh, yeah. I'd do it again. It was Hell fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> they not a complaint the whole time and yeah, can't, can't ask for more <laughs> on a trip like this, so. What's up, dude? Yeah. How's it feel being back in this parking lot? Amazing. Yeah.